tackling racism and ensuring equality. That's what Rockford aldermen say they're trying to do in the wake of national unrest over police brutality. After months of listening to concerns from the public, Rockford aldermen say they are ready to get to work. 13 News reporter Cassandra Brettel explains how that work involves layers of communication. For months, protests against racism and police brutality have raged on in Rockford ever since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. The repeated calls for justice have the attention of the Rockford aldermen. To bridge that gap between people, the individuals in the community and the police department. On Thursday night, aldermen joined a roundtable discussion at District 1 Police Headquarters to talk about bridging that gap. It comes after multiple community listening sessions about race over the past few months. Alderwoman Ann Thompson Kelly says the goal now is to find solutions. Solutions would be uh, a procedure policy for accountability, for report writing, for uh, responding to the community. Maybe moving forward with a discussion on putting proposals together to go before the city council. But a panelist at this roundtable talk, Janessa Wilkins, says racism isn't going away and city ordinances are not going to solve problems in the long term. Her grassroots organization, Homestart, is focusing on communication with residents. Because once we plant these seeds and we combat all this hate that's going on with love and, and, like I said, be able to articulate these feelings in a healthy manner, it makes it easier for the generations coming up. People can step up to the plate and be part of the answer. No one is going to be the full answer. Alderman Bill Rose says total change is going to take an all-in approach. They said it's not going to be body cams alone. It's not going to be our Family Justice Center alone. It's going to be bringing all these things together, working across um, government lines. But while everyone here says that they have the same goal to bring equality to everyone in Rockford, the way we get there could be a long and winding road. For your 13 Weather Authority, Cassandra Brettel, 13 News. So what happens next? There are two more rounds of table talks between aldermen this month, but there's no concrete plan on what to do once those talks are over.